What do Harley Davidson's dirt bikes and sport bikes all have in common? People ride them. Now this is a scoot. <clears throat> This is a scooter. You may be wondering why it wasn't included in the last category. Oh yeah, nobody rides them. Now don't get me wrong, scooters have been popular in Europe for a long time, but for some reason in the United States, they never really took off quite the same. Now some experts might tell you that it's because in Europe there's smaller towns, the speed limits are slower, people generally go place to place sooner, quicker, you know, small place, you know, that's a lot. In my correct opinion, the reason why scooters are so much more popular in Europe is because Vespa made the scooter sexy. Elegante. Elegante, okay. Juvenile. Pradica. Economica. Okay, cheap. Now take a look at this one. Oh my gosh, all it took was the literal Vespa logo to get the girls. All the boys are outside, got the ladies' side saddle on the back of the scoop. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm buying that product. And after all the success of Vespa, this is how Honda decided to advertise their scooters in America. Take out your calculator and break it in a little bit. Sure, scooter's packed to go, but so is polyester. Classic, no, fun, yes. And if you can't figure it out, what? We know. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> what? I'm not buying that! I don't know how it became my job to make a successful ad campaign for scooters in the United States, but here's what I would have done. He is the life of parties he has never attended. If he were to punch you in the face, you would have to fight off the strong urge to thank him. He rides scooters. He is the most interesting man in the world. Honda. Personally, I think that was way better than But who am I kidding? I'm just a youtuber with 36,000 subscribers no advertising experience to my name and a scooter from 1995 That was from the same ad campaign as this stupid ad. I just watched so I don't even know what I'm talking about Let's get into the video. Ah, uh, who's getting mud on my freaking scoot, dude? No, it's not the cleanest scoot around anymore. Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Two Shook J and today we are outside on the Honda Elite. Look at this thing, man. Clean bean. So my goal today is to tell you guys why a rider who has ridden sport bikes, who has ridden Harleys, who has ridden dirt bikes, who's an experienced rider would want a bike like this little scooter here when there's so many other options as far as bikes go. You know, it's just, <laughs> let's be honest. We got to talk about what it is, man. It's a little scooter. It's slow. The gauge tops out at 35, but there's a lot of good things about these bikes that I feel like people have never ridden one don't really know so this video today I'm just gonna go ahead and explain why I think everyone should have one of these in their garage Now, right when we're sitting on it, first things first, look, I'm sitting on a goddamn couch right now, okay? Comfort factor on these little Johnnies is off the charts. Something like this is a luxury when you're talking about a rider like me who comes from self-made supermotos, you know, just never really having a bike that's super legit. One of these is just solves all those issues. Go ahead and get rolling here and talk about this thing a little bit more. So clearly one of the complaints that most people are going to have about a scooter like this is just the speed, man. It's not a fast bike, but one thing I will say is these dudes get up and go off the line. I mean, if you're just going from a stop to full throttle, they get down, they pick up. I mean, I'm not complaining about how fast this is. Like, it is not bad. The only thing is once you get it to about 25, you're sort of topping out there and you're gonna cruise around 30, 35 miles per hour, depending on the road you're on. But one good thing about these bikes is they are just like super nimble little street bikes. I definitely can't complain about the handling on this thing. It, it really feels like a mini, a mini sport bike almost. Of course, the best thing about them is you can wheelie them. Now these do have drum brakes and you're only gonna get the left hand handbrake here. There's no foot brake or anything, but as far as stunting goes, these things are super capable little bikes and actually really fun to ride, especially just because, you know, low CC, slow speed fun is one of my favorite ways to ride, honestly. I'm sure no one can deny anytime you're hopping on a 450 or a, a 600 or a big stunt bike, a Harley. Going fast is always fun, but there's something about cruising like I am right now at literally five miles per hour, taking turns, you know, cruising the two stroke, doing wheelies. It's just a completely different style bike. And I feel like most people don't have something in their garage 
that's capable of this type of riding. 90% of bikes, I would say, you gotta go at least 25 to have any sort of fun, you know? You're not having fun under 25 miles per hour. And that's what this bike solves. It's like, you can cruise around city streets, side streets, any low-key area. You're not gonna be super loud. Your bike is quiet. And you can just kind of get away with stuff. You can just have fun. No one's gonna tell you to stop. You're not causing a nuisance. You're just out here having fun, man. I know there's normally a lot of cops in this area, so that might bring me to my next topic about these little scoots here. Now, I know for a lot of stunners, cops are a nuisance, and for me, they are too. I do not like messing with cops. I do not like being in the way of cops, that lady's shaking her head at me. What's so wrong about doing a little wheelie, huh? I never understand why people get mad at people doing wheelies. Like, don't you have better things to worry about, bro? Am I really doing you that much of a nuisance by doing a little wheelie in front of you? It's, it's just like ridiculous to me. But yeah, I don't like dealing with cops and I'm pretty sure most people don't. And when you are on a little scooter like this, whether it's a moped, a scooter, if it's straight up a dirt bike, but it's a 50cc little mini bike, most cops aren't gonna give you the time of day, you know? You're just, Oh, why? Why do you want me to go, lady? I go five miles per hour. But most police are not going to give you the time of day on a bike like this. Chances are they'll see you riding this thing, whether you're doing a wheelie or not, and just let you go. You know, they'll let you roll by. They see you're just having some innocent fun, not causing any problems, and they'll let you on your way. There's just a level of carefree, stress-free fun that you have on a bike like this going 25 and under that you really can't have on a big bike, on a full-size supermoto, on a sport bike, anything like that. You're constantly like in the back of your mind, you know, thinking about cops thinking about oh i'm going fast right now like if i fell it would be bad you're just a bigger target for people when they see you and that's something like i really come to love about bikes like this you're not on anybody's radar and nine times out of ten you're not making anybody mad except the haters you know shake shake my head you know god dang shake my head oh is that kid doing a wheelie shake my head man it's so stupid man the fact that i can just hop on this bike throw the key in start it up these things are reliable as ever this engine will never die if you keep it in stock form it's just an unbeatable thing and that brings me to the fact that these bikes are just so cheap economica okay cheap they're cheap to buy parts are cheap they barely use any gas you're gonna get insane gas mileage with this it's just like the ease of use and the ease of entry into the scooter world is so nice and the fact that parts are cheap you could keep these things stock and they'll be bulletproof ultra reliable for as long as you want but at the same time you can get into modding these things and just make them way faster like 10 times more fun to wheelie all of that for also a very cheap price and they're fun to work on so something like that is uh kind of Kind of where this has the leg up on a lot of the bigger bikes because right now I got a 450 that is in my garage not really running too well. I have a 125 project that I'm working on. That project's just taking a lot more time and money than I thought. But this bike, it's just there every day. It's ready to go. I can hop on it and have fun. A lot of bikes, they just need a lot of maintenance and I don't know, maintenance, builds, something like this. I could just fall in love with the ease of use of it. But I really think the biggest thing for these bikes is that they're cheap, they're reliable, they're low-key under the radar and they are just so fun if you and a couple of buddies hop on some scooters like this and just go rip your town i guarantee you'll probably have one of the most fun riding experiences you've had in a long time if you've never ridden one of these with all that being said guys let's go ahead and just ride this thing around have some fun and hopefully i can prove to you guys what i'm talking about uh, let me see if i can hang this right hand turn you think i can oh Into the left. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that, honestly. That was better than I thought. All right, another right hand. Oh, I can't really straighten out of them though, but that was way better than I thought I could do. Heck yeah. It's always a new process, man. Learning how to ride a different style of bike. Everything, just your weight distribution, the way you use your body. It's different on every style bike. So it's super fun, like trying a bunch of different types of bikes and owning a bunch of different styles. But it really does take 
a lot of practice to get good at riding each different type. This scooter handles like nothing I've ever ridden before. The moped handles like nothing I've ever ridden before. Supermotos, all that, like they all just use different techniques, different styles, and when you switch between all of them, it's really tough to like get it down and get good at one specific thing, but the joy in stunt riding is this, that it's just a constant learning process, which that's really what makes it fun and enjoyable and rewarding in the first place, is just the fact that you're, you're forcing yourself to learn new skills, you're trying new things, and hopefully having fun in the process. It just puts you in so many uncomfortable situations and forces you to, to learn. And that's what I love about it, you know? No throttle hand, no throttle hand. Ooh, got the skills to pay the bill skis, man. Definitely getting more comfy on this thing, which is good, that's good. Tune game, scooter tunes, little corgi, look at this guy. I uh, got him. I'm gonna see if I can post the camera up and get some circle footage because circles on these scooters are so fun. Oh my gosh, but I never really do them. So, center stand activate. Look at that thing, bro. Tell me you've never seen a cleaner bean right there. Just kidding. My scooter is not in good shape, but it does exactly what I want, you know? I think we're gonna get some good clips here. Dang, I'm gonna have to blur out the license plate. Oh, whatever. Oh, <laughs> solid, solid. I'm gonna try and get a little bit bigger. <laughs> oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, guys, a bike like this. It's so fun just messing around. I really want to learn knee knock on this thing, but like I said earlier, learning how to balance a new type of bike is just not easy. Oh. Ooh, okay. Knee knocker is so scary to learn on small bikes because you're so used to falling to the left or to the right. And when your knee's up on the seat, if you fall to the left, you can't save yourself because your knee's stuck on the seat. Your foot's up. You can't grab the ground with your foot or anything. Ooh, a little Christmas tree. I definitely got so much to learn on this thing still. That's the fun in it, guys. The new discipline to learn. Scoot Master coming up. For now, I think I'm gonna keep this thing stock. Just rock it how it is. I might as well learn as much as I can while it's stock. That way it's reliable. And then, once I get the weight down really good, the balance, maybe knee knocks, you know, get a little more skills on this scooter, then I might, you know, spice it up a little bit, put some money into it, make it go fast, like I do all my bikes eventually. I can't just keep it stock forever. What am I, crazy? And guys, as we get home and squeeze into my garage, here you can see what I mean about the devastation of my other bikes right now we got the scooter it's the old reliable I can go out whip this thing it's there for me when I need it and that's why I was praising the scooter today we got the 125 RM 125 build right here I'm just mocking things up right now to try and figure out how the frick I'm gonna turn this thing into a supermoto but moped right here this thing is modded to Timbuktu and back it's got about every bolt-on you can do to these mopeds and guess what it's not running right now what's new 450 also being like a little parts donor bike right now that thing still runs but it's up in the air, man. It's on its way out. It needs work. And honestly, it's like I should sell that thing and get a fuel injected one anyway. So, oh, frick, man. Literally just the life of someone that owns bikes. You know, you just buy too many bikes, you buy crappy bikes. POS bikes, they're all project bikes. And then you have to buy a freaking 50cc scooter to be the only one that you can actually ride on a day-to-day -day basis. But what is freaking new, guys? Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Somebody's smoking weed right now, so the air smells mighty dank, but that's all right. Let me know if you would own one of these and whip one of these down in the comments below. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a fun time. I totally suggest it. Cheap, too. Cheap. Keep it on the low. You know, your wife wouldn't even be mad about you. Your girlfriend, she won't even question the purchase. Other than that, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.